So we have this nice pair of Engelbert Strong security boots uh, with this BOA closing mechanism. I like them very much. You close them like this, they tighten, and then you pull this up and it loosens again. And what happened of course uh, during while working, uh, one of the steel cables ripped in this boot. First fix was to use the cable die. Um, but then I looked into it to check uh, whether uh, this cable can be replaced. I did a quick Google check and also on YouTube and found that um, there are similar closing mechanisms for bicycle boots which have the T6 Torx in the middle. And I thought, well, this is just covered up here with the plastic, drilled it open, which was a mistake. Don't do that on these boots. And uh, um, then I couldn't find anything in particular and started fiddling about more. And finally, I realized how you can fix this. So I shall tell you, show you this now. Let's have a closer look. This is where you must look for this problem for this. And there are no obvious ways to open this, but you, there is a little bit of a plastic lip here. You can go under this, right in the middle, move it between this, and then tilt forward a little bit, and then you can open it there. Let me show you. There is this little plastic lip. And after that you can open this plastic pin from the middle. Mine is particularly easy because I broke it a little bit already. Take the pin out. And then in the middle you have the spool. You have this spool. And the way it works, the two cables go in through these holes, right through these channels. And right through these two holes. And there are little knots in the middle here. And then they go out the front, uh, but on, no, not completely out, just the remainder of the cable goes out here. And now I will fiddle this together and show you. So I put the cable in. I just got this off eBay if I haven't told this already. Maybe you can just use uh, regular steel wire, uh, steel cable. In this small diameter if you can get it. Now I have this part. I go through these openings and then in the spindle. Right. Does look good. Oh no 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 no! I have a twist in it. Can I? Oh, I was afraid of that. To do some shitty thing like that. Okay. And don't do that. 
we need to cross this because he turned this over. So there we go. This one needs to go there. more fiddly than I wanted to. More fiddly than it had to be. Same procedure, arrow forward. making knots and steel cables, not that easy. Just do it right the first time, then you don't need to twiddle as much.
Ja. Now it will like this again. First through the hole and then cutting off. First through the hole. This looks nice. Can get the knots through the holes. I could have thought of that before. Okay, all good. Now we have our little twist in here. And we have this one correct. Goes in. See that the wire takes the correct channel here. Looks good. Looks good. Don't forget the red thingy. Should snap in place. Looks good. The mechanism seems to work, so let's put it in. Well, that made it for a longer video than I would have wanted, but you can see it's working again. But don't drill in the middle like I did, you only mess up the clicking operation, which I did here. Luckily it still works good enough so that this will hold a while. Well, there you go. So these types of, these types of uh, closing mechanisms use the lever here, I uh, use a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, flat screwdriver, there's a lever here, pull forward and you can get them out easily and back in. There we go.